Well, today we're going to head up to Bikes and Breakfast in Bogota at the Bogota Press. It is one of my favorite meetups and not far from my house. And if you'd like to watch this on your widescreen TV in full 4K, just adjust your settings in a lower right hand corner. In the morning at Bikes and Breakfast, I think only a few guys beat us here today, but at the Bogota Press, this is a great meetup. Should get nice in the afternoon, rained a little bit this morning. Should be a nice day. Now the advantage of getting here early is they're not playing rock and roll music. <laughs> and then I have to edit it all out of the video. So, hey, we've got some guys coming today. I don't know who's going to make it. We may have a ride afterward, depending on uh, who shows up. You never know. That's the cool part of this. You never, never know. Ah, oh, another MT-09. Let's see what this windshield looks like. Oh, that's nice. happened Dale thank you Dale well, I don't know who's not gonna be here today because today's the Norton rally and I think Turbo Steve's group is going up to the turbo the turbo Norton rally wherever that it's out in Pennsylvania and I've been there a lot of fun but uh, I don't have that much time today that's an all-day run and we're well, well worth it by the way But it is supposed to warm up this afternoon. It should be. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Again, we hours for an exposure. Yeah. Dale, I don't look at competition. Uh, you know, with a light. So these cameras may be damaged before the end of the day. <laughs> I don't like having competition. I like being number one of one. One of zero. <laughs> oh, you're always showing off. Oh my God. Oh, where's your bike? You get a new bike? And, and it's in the, it's over there. Next, Where? Next, I didn't next, see next it. to you. Next to me. Okay. Yeah. You're allowed to be. I'm here. in the handicap section. I'm the only. I just got handicap plates in my car. For the car? It's a nice bike, huh? It's clean. It's too bad there's no sun out. That pearl paint is really, really nice. We were we were riding yesterday in a bright sun. That bike looked like a piece of jewelry going by. Really Where'd nice. Where'd you guys go? Uh, Picatinny. Went out to Picatinny. Yeah. It was nice. Beautiful ride. This is nice. Why don't you join us sometime? After that. What's nice about this bike, when he's riding behind you, you can see it. The headlights are super bright, and you can hear it. It's got a nice rumble. Looks like one of these things was, a, I guess you could tighten it up. They go up, yeah. When you drop the bike, they go up. What do you do, put them on backwards? I don't know. I thought they, they would move easier. No, they're only made that if they don't, they don't break for a race bike when you drop it. It needs a bigger engine. Right? I, I don't think it makes enough torque. It's bigger than your head. It's bigger than my car. <laughs> That's pretty cool. What's up, bro? Yo. <laughs> All right, no hugging, guys. No hugging. This is a family video. Where do you now? I still have the same thing. Whoa. Uh, 
Rocket 3. Oh man, look at that engine. Like a contest, who can have the biggest engine in a bike? We don't have any of those Harleys with the car engine, so. Okay, so the BMW is 1,800 cc's. This one is 2,500 cc's. Hmm, I think we need a tractor pull here. It might be bigger than the engine in my minivan. Got bigger than 2,500 cc's. I feel like I'm riding a mini bike. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Pretty yeah, cool. Really Look gotta, at this dashboard. You gotta have serious confidence at, at low speeds riding. Uh, well, if you're interested in riding an event uh, in June, we raise money for veterans. Especially working with this group here. They rescue dogs and then they train them to the service dogs. <laughs> no, this poor guy's only got 117 cc's. Oh my God, how can how can he get by? I guess they gear the bike very low when you only have a only 117. I only have 650. I got nothing. I got a mini bike. That's nice stitching on a seat. That is a nice custom seat. Maybe that's the one that comes with the bike. Nice seat. So here you go. This is the first seat cowl I've seen. Nice. That is a nice seat cowl. And with the little backrest, that's like pretty much what I got. I just got done making that. And I'm just starting one for the uh, MT-09. Okay, now tell me what I'm looking at here. You got to do the talking. We are the Warriors Run. Okay. This is our 11th year. Okay. We do a uh, motorcycle event from Rochelle Park, New Jersey. Okay. And uh, the Harley dealer in Rochelle? No, it's with the uh, American Legion Post. Okay. 170. Okay. And um, it's on Sunday, June 9th. There's a $25 fee. We give you for that breakfast, we give you a ride, police escorted up around Greenwood Lake area through West Milford. And then we come back and we have barbecue. We have a DJ, we have a 50-50 drawing. A whole lot of stuff going on. You don't cool. want to miss this one. Cool. So let's get this, I just want to make sure I got it right. Hope we get some uh, response to this. Okay, so if you're around and we have Northern a, Jersey on June yeah. 9th. We have a website. We're on Facebook. This, the Polaris decided to play this game. Oh! The, the, uh, the motor sizes. So wow! Had to... But they're all different. See, I don't follow it. I don't. I'm not. I only have a 650. I'm. A, I'm like a baby here. <laughs> Man, I need two motors. I, I need three motors. <laughs> right now we're cooking with gas. Hey, nice wheels. Nice black paint. Never go wrong with black paint. Nice tail section. Luciano's daughter, uh, daughter-in-law has this bike. They were out in Colorado. Nice. Yeah, just like Linda's, 636. Anyway, always happy to help somebody out that's got a charity run going. forget ride and race rail never forget the day we went out with the RD and his 390 KTM on 106 oh 
man. <laughs> that was a beauty. Motorcycle. Let's see, you got a camera on your helmet, a camera on your nose, a camera where? Where? More cameras? Got one in my pocket here. Oh my god. How many cameras you got? That's not enough. How do you expect to be famous? Now, what you don't need, you need one less camera and some polish. Get rid of that rusty, rusty, awful bolt there, ruining the look of your bike. That's, that is, if Wendy that. sees that, you're going to be in big trouble. I didn't see that. You, you, how could you not see that? It's like a pimple on the end of your nose. Holy <laughs> mackerel. Well, I thought, you know, Harley copied this bike. The Harley made a bike that looks just like this. They copied a Honda. I know it. Well, I think that Harley actually sued Honda. Because it's... <laughs> they sued him? Because it has a single pin crank. And it's, oh, it's, um, God. The sound that it makes is too close to the Harley. Oh, so, God. So Harley actually sued them. On the low end, it sounds very harley -ish, but once you just drive it out, it really... But if you want to join up with one of our rides, you got to get rid of that rusty bolt. That, that, that's demeaning to our group. Luciano would be on your case. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Pimple. <laughs> <laughs> my seat, Cal, I'm making one for the MT-09 right now. Same so, thing. Is that what Similar. you're pa painting recently? I saw you painting some, some part blue. Yeah, yeah. That, we're going to start that. A lot of fun stuff coming up. Kawasaki. Kawa so, you, you made this or this was an option? No, I made it. No, I don't buy things. I make them. I just looked at that Triumph over there. I wanted to see how that thing comes off. If the guy's around later, I got to ask him. I made little tabs that hold this on out of, a, out of finger locks. The things where you break your finger. You need more cameras. This bike here, how many, how many cc's is that bicycle? Ask my dad. Say 2,501 and you'll have the biggest bike here. Fuel injection look like carburetors. That is very cool. What is that? Yeah, it's very British. That's cool. Well, they all do it. They're saying this. Yeah. This one's 1,200. I got the smallest bike here. I won't even be able to ride with these guys. They're gonna leave me in the dust. It's terrible. They got a nice seat cowl though. Scott, if you're watching this, I want to see your seat cowl soon. You've been working on it for a while, so have I. And the MT-09 one coming your way very soon. I gotta get act I gotta get moving on it. The, they call that the uh, the turtle, I think the turtle the turtle knucklehead. Something with the valve covers are a little bit different. That one went I think less than hundred grand at, at, at Meekum. And it was a good looking bike. Would you take a hundred grand for this one? I'll turn around and sell us for a hundred grand right now. <laughs> Dale, write him a check. <laughs> hundred grand. Before he changes his mind. That's a twenty twenty-two thousand dollar bike right there. That's about it. This is beautiful. I gotta take my hat. You got older bikes than I have. How big? How many CCs is that? Seven fifty? No, it's a lot hundred. That's seventy. This, that, is, this stock one. was seventy-four cubic inch for this motor for this bike. You know, they make those fuel injection look just like carburetors now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they make carburetors. Look, look. Yeah, look. Right, right here, man. You, I, don't, I don't have it, but they would have a syringe in this cap. Oh, to that prime you it. You could prime it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And prime it and then kick it over. No wonder they invented fuel injection. <laughs> This is cool with that's the shift. shift. Right there. Yeah, that's the shift. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Dale, when we were at your museum and you were telling us what it takes to start some of these old bikes. I, I, I still remember that. Oh my God. You know, 
For a guy that only had a kickstart bike or a, an electric bike, you can't even think about it. Yeah, of course. It came out, it slipped off. They weren't as yes, they're not as tight as the tank. Yeah. I know he does. Foot clutch in the I know, yeah. I know. Crazy. Well, he's a one-of-a-kind man. A man among men. This is oil. A man among dinosaurs. <laughs> Non-return, so it slowly keeps adding oil to the to the to the case. And it you drips. Drain it, you got to drain it periodically. It drips, though. Is that what you're talking no, about? No, it's got a pump. It's got a pump. It feeds a pump, and you regulate that. And send this this tank is the auxiliary gas tank, which is only about a gallon of gas. And then this is the full. That's your primer. So what is what is that? That's a primer. So this is a primer. So what happened was after you drain the oil, like every 750 miles roughly, you're supposed to drain all the oil. So then you got to fill it up again. So you, you pump in another three, four ounces of oil, and then and then it'll continuously feeding extra oil with the oil pump system. And then you just keep this full. You always keep that full. And they'll do average of 750 miles for a gallon. A little thing for tools up here. This is high, se high security. No, this is a timer. Check out this. The timing. Oh no, it's the different key. Oh no, you can't see because it's in here. So this goes into here, but it changes the time. It is the key to my garage. This is retarded. Oh yeah, look at it. And then the throttle is there. High security. It's actually so what? With the throttle. While you're in a bar, why are you dying some hell's angel? They come out and steal right, your this wire uh, comes down your, off the your vice grip and it regulates and the amount of oil. So as the throttle so opens up, oh, it yeah. changes the amount of oil going also, into the engine. You need the truck following you. Know, you. That's the tool you need. That's the original motor or no? No, he, that's, I, that's, I saw him driving this around motor. on the street. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. It's amazing. But, uh, the case numbers match. So are you a real famous guy like Dale is no, or uh, not yet? There's a difference. You got five of these though. Four or five? How many? Five bikes. Five, okay. How many do you have? Nine. Uh, you beat you have, me. You but you got older stuff. I, I only got a 77. That's my oldest bike. Dale doesn't even respect me. He says, oh, that's a modern bike. Anybody can ride an, an RD 400. And if you can, anybody can ride something with a push button start. I couldn't ride this. You could ride it. I can fly a 747, but I can't ride this bike. Yeah, that is not stock. That's that's from... You know, it's like the plane I used to own, and there was so just, many tricks to getting it running. Air filter, I'm, I'm, Nobody could steal I'm, it. I thought I was no key. You just, just get in. And, and no lock on the windows. There's a big air horn that could have like my this. Dog. Fresh off three weeks without crashing. <laughs> Headed for the fourth week in a row. <laughs> may, we may see four weeks in a row without a crash. That's cool. Sigma. Fast Mike. He did. He had a terrible accident. I, in the hospital for two months. Yeah, I, I heard. My wife made him extra cookies just because she felt sorry for him. Yes, yes. Look at this. You want some valet parking, sir? your bike. You got Yamaha leathers on a Ducati. Look at this. That's my space. You're in my don't you see it says parking for windy only? Well, I think he's due for um, like a military <laughs> officer commission. We could call him Captain Crunch. <laughs> he is Captain Crunch. <laughs> Captain Mike. Uh, poor Mike. I'm back! I'm back! Yeah. I'm back! I'm back. They're gonna name that hospital wing after you. Uh, <laughs> the fast Mike wing. Don't ride with other guys with Ducatis. That's the answer. Ride with Yamahas and you don't crash that much. Oh, it's like the key to my garage. For the toolbox. Oh, yeah. What a rough Rough. Oh, I tell you what. Rough. Huh? Yeah, and you know, you know, there could be secret stuff in there. You know, it could be like, like the papers that Hillary Clinton was hiding in there under there or something. Or some kind of, con security, some kind of contraband. I put his marijuana in there. You don't have to, though, now. It's legal. You can just smoke it while you're riding. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you got to push all the chickens sure in. I one that was all done. Yeah, oh, it comes down all, here, right? That was all done, and it was still loose. No, the, yeah. the chickens hold it back. They don't lock us in yeah, there anymore. Yeah, that did it. I ended up having to put, I, I put one of those little, little high, that is high magnets security. in there, 
because it would bounce and open up. And like I saw another one at the. You can't make this stuff up. It only that was all done up, all painted. Oh my god! And it, it didn't dent. This is really a nice machine. But I, I gotta have it. I gotta give the guy credit. When I ride my RD, I always I feel like king of the road. This guy's a, the king of the planet. Yeah, I gotta put this back. Oh, so we all know. Mike. Let's make sure we all know where he keeps his key. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, this is a great bike. Now tell me the truth. I heard this. This I know you ride the bike. I always run into guys I, all the time that have an old bike, and I have my old RD, and they challenge me to go for a ride. They think my RD only goes like 40, 50 miles an hour or something. This one will, How I've fast had, will this go? I, I've had it up to 60, but that's... 60? I don't okay. Wanna. But my older bike, like my, my 55? Yeah. I've, I've topped out about 90 on that. Will it? No, I won't run at 90. No, I mean, like, you don't go... No, like, just to see, let's see how fast we move the GP... On a no, bumpy better. road. <laughs> but I'll cruise at 75 on, on the highway on that bumpy. bike. Wow. No, I'm, I'm only curious. People, they don't understand. These bikes don't go 150 miles an no, hour. No, no. Well, if it had a couple you know, extra gears. Do you know how much but, travel yeah. that rear suspension has? Zero. The what same I, as my whatever back. Whatever the tire bone. gives. <laughs> <laughs> I seen a guy when I was in Daytona at Bike Week. He had a chopper with the biggest back tire and about one pound of air, and it was doing this when he was hitting a bump. Yep. Oh, man. Method to the madness. That is beautiful. Well, what's really unbelievable is think about the roads. Oh, the head. People rode on that. Oh, it wasn't the road road that's, when you look at When you look at, like, Cannibal Baker, which is the, the guy who they named the Cannibal Run after. Yeah. 19... 18... 15, I forget, he did it on a Henderson, right? And it, his the, his record was forty something hours to go cross country. Mm. It took a couple decades to beat that. There were no roads in the twenties. You know what you, you know, would like, love? Like guys were running like railroad tracks and stuff what? like that to get across. Let me tell you a true story. My father rode in the sidecar class for BMW in the forties. Okay, you know what one of the rules was? Of course, they rode in the woods. You had to end the ride with the sidecar still attached. Some of the guys hit a tree and the sidecar uh. came off. And they'd win the race, because you don't have the sidecar. Okay. What's up, Wade? Hello, Luciano. Hello, Luciano. I miss you. Oh, I miss you. <laughs> it's a newer one? No, that's, 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 that's an old one. That's the same series as mine. But different. They're the, the blinkers, the aftermarket. This is carbon fiber. I'm looking around. Different exhaust. Yeah, different exhaust. Stock, right? Mine's totally stock. Yeah, totally stock. Different. It's got a different shock too. That look doesn't look like the stock shock. It's got a reservoir for the shock here. Yeah, it's a different shock. Yeah, Well, what year is it? It's a, uh, this is a 19. It's a mine is a 20. Doesn't matter. Same series of bikes. There's some nice paintwork over here. <laughs> Nice paintwork. That is nice paintwork. Nice seat. That must be an aftermarket seat. Two brothers exhaust. Is up in there? That must be moisture, yeah. It's supposed to be laundry. That's where you put the laundry. I don't know. He's got the wings and stuff yeah, nice going show on. There. No, yeah. No. yeah, I carry one on my, uh, on my uh, just in case the battery goes. I, I just this is the same as no, it's not the same as Mike's. Mike's is different. Mike's is a monster. And that dash looks really difficult to look. Do you see that dash? How small it is? It's nice, whatever it is. Nice. Came everything back there, right? Got the shock like the Kawasaki does. That is a small dash. Yeah, it's an MT-09. Nice. I gotta make some wings for my bike. For the O9? Some moonlets on it? Yeah. For the R1. I'll make wings for the R1. You can, you can buy them on. They sell aftermarket ones that stick on there. No, I make Amazon. ones that are real. That, that stick on. He's sneaking up on us. 
Yeah, that's a 750 too. You want these mirrors? I don't know. He said they're, they're, they're not good. No, when he's going to get coffee, you just grab them and take them off. That's all. You can put them on your bike. You need some accessories. They need like indicator lights as well. Yeah, I wish. Are you kidding? 400 bucks for a set of mirrors? I could have bought a bike for 400 dollars. Because they're real results. Get what you pay for. That's the indicator. No, you don't. You get ripped off. <laughs> don't get what you pay for. Dale, do you get what you pay for or do you get ripped off? Four hundred dollars for mirrors. Oh my God! And change and change. Yeah, four ninety nine, ninety nine. But it definitely keeps it controls the heat. I'm not sure it doesn't do it a hell of a lot, but it does control the heat. So, because um, that's my issue. That's what I read. Yeah. Um, I had at least that up pipe right. um, on the exhaust. I wrapped it years ago, ah, and uh, it was falling off. I took it off, and the pipe's all right. I guess because maybe that got wet at some point. But after reading about it, it said that it, um, the Cerakote um, um, retains the heat in the pipe, of course, um, like 20% more than a rack. I was like, 20% is better than no percent. Okay, okay, this is Dale's little, what, 125? 125, 125. 125. Now, how many of them do you have so far? You got the big one, the 750. Well, what happened was I bought two of these. I bought a 125 and a 150, but I sold the 150 to Frank. I brought, oh, okay. it, I brought it home, and he fell in love with it. He says, I'm yeah. Italian. I need that. Ah. I, I said, OK. Uh, that's how you lose friends. <laughs> Are you doing an oil change right now? There is no oil change on this. This, this is, is a total loss. There bike. is an oil. The oil's under the bike. This is total loss. You just keep <laughs> filling just keep it up. Adding. I had a car that did this. Oh. <laughs> Oh, now I have a Toyota, they, they don't break. It's like a lawnmower where the valves are facing. <laughs> yes, the valves, the valves are... making fun of my bike, man. Bike. We, uh, we make it fun of you more than a bike. Check everything else. At least you got a helmet that matches. See that zit over here. See that zit? See that rusty bolt? Would you ride that bike? I would have had that out and polished it before I go out in public. Are we on the record or no? Absolutely. I'm going to go look at your bike for a record. <laughs> And Fat Mike. Why do I call him Fat Mike? He's fast, Mike. I got a titanium bolt for it. It's all upgraded. <laughs> Go to a hardware store and buy stainless steel bolts don't rust. That's the secret. Eh, that's true. Look, you look at my bike, all beautiful bolts, 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 bolts. Oscar has a rusty bolt. That's going to be your new nickname, Rusty Oscar. Nice paint on a bike anyway. Oh, you How got the kicks? cruiser controls? Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. Hey, one kick starts. Oh, two kick starts. All right, I'll see you next time, baby. No wheelies in the parking lot now. We don't have an ambulance on call. have that little horsepower. <laughs> but, but, you, but you gotta be prepared. Like, my first experience, bro, I was lucky. I was with somebody that had Angels have arrived. Oh, lock up the women. There's more of them. Oh my God. Look at this. 
Look at that. So this is pretty cool. The electric Hells Angels come in here, a whole bunch of them on electric scooters. They park them over where there's some electrical outlets and just park the bike, park the scooter. I guess they're called scooters. And plug them in. That's really pretty cool. Any that I never thought of it, but anywhere there's an outdoor outlet anywhere in public, you just plug your scooter in. So it was a wonderful day, a day uh, a day to live in for me. We had a nice ride after this, and this was just a special day. Bogota is a great meetup. It's the fourth weekend of the month, I believe. Look up Bikes and Breakfast. And guys, I hope you really did enjoy the video. I hope I didn't miss anybody's bike. I didn't do it on purpose. Enjoy the video. Thanks for supporting the channel. <laughs>